Hello, I hope you're having a lovely Tuesday. Thanks for joining me. My name's Tina, and I want to um, I want to make a shaker card using this stamp set. It's a new stamp set to me, and it has coordinating dies. It's, it's from Jelly Bean Soup, and it's the Lemonade stamp set. And it's actually made to be a shaker card. You can buy the inserts for it. But I chose not, and it's very inexpensive stamp set. Um, but I chose not to get the insert, so I want to attempt at making a card without it. I'm taking a standard. Well, this is a half of a standard piece of cardstock, and I'm scoring it one and three quarters and seven and a quarter, um, making it a, a front opening card. And I um, scored the edges really good. And then from my stash, I have this very used, very old paper pad, but I still love it. It's from My Mind's Eye, and it's a, a sunshine uh, paper pad. And I grabbed a strip of pattern paper from that, and I'm going to directly adhere that to my card base at the at the very um, just at the opening on the top there. And I'm going to trim off any excess that I have, make it nice and clean, lovely. And then I have a piece of yellow cardstock, and it's from my stash, and I believe it's Brazil Basics, but I'm not quite sure. And I cut that out using my stitch rectangle die. And we're going to use, well, I'm going to use the glue runner, and I'm going to attach the very top part of it to the card front here. That way the, the bottom will kind of flap open there. And then I took this polka dotted pattern paper that I just adore. I'm going to cut that out using a smaller rectangle die. Lovely. And then I'm going to take my mason jar, the die, the die, and then I'm going to offset it to the left just a little bit and I'm going to cut that out using my Big Shot. And now we're going to do some stamping. I'm grabbing the, the lemon slice that's in the stamp set and two pieces of pattern paper and I'm um, using my anti-static powder tool and Versamark ink and I'm stamping each of the images three times. I'm, I'm using the lemon wedge and the lemon slice. Lovely. And then we're going to be doing some embossing. And so the embossing powder that I'm using is by Nuvo, and it's the Glacier White embossing powder. And I'm going to go ahead and heat set that. I think this card turned out so adorable. I think in the end, the outcome, it, it's a perfect gift to give, especially when somebody's having a not so good day. I'm using a Zig Clean Color Real Brush, and this is yellow number 50. And I'm just going on the inside of my images here, and then I'm adding Wink of Stella to kind of spread the color out, just to add a little bit of interest to these stamped images. I don't know if you can see the shine there, but it, it turned out really pretty. And since I did get the coordinating dies, so I'm going to cut out my lemon wedges and then I'm also going to cut out the very top part of the mason jar using the, um, the coordinating die. So I grabbed a piece of pattern paper from my paper pad and then um, we're going to grab all three of these and, and die cut them out. A lot of little pieces. I've got my my lemon slices and my lemon wedges and then I have my mason jar top here. Now let's build our shaker. I'm going to add some my tape runner behind the paper here and then I'm going to add a clear piece of acetate. Lovely. And then the stamp set comes with the outline of the mason jar and so I'm grabbing my mini misty and then I'm just going to place my stamp right on top of the acetate sheet. And since we are stamping on acetate, I'm using my stays on the ink, which works very well on acetate. 
and I'm going to stamp it twice just to get a nice crisp image here. Lovely. Wipe that off. And then while I have my mini Missy out, we're going to stamp the sentiment. The sentiment, this is just a one inch strip of white cardstock. The sentiment says, when light hands you lemons, and so I want to kind of separate the colors, so I'm taping off the lemons, and I'm using a Memento Rich Cocoa ink, and I'm inking up the top part of my sentiment. Lovely. Wipe it off really good, and then um, it kind of shifted a little bit, i got to fix that. Good deal. And then now I'm going to go back, and I'm using an a little Hero Hues ink cube. This is Butter Bar. And I masked off the top of the sentiment and I'm stamping using that Butter Bar using stamping the lemon. And then we're going to finish off stamping the sentiment. I grabbed a piece of pretty light pattern paper and I'm stamping the rest of it and it says makes lemonade or actually so your sentiment will totally say when life hands you lemons make lemonade so I, I'm going to attempt to heat emboss this using the memento and um, I thought about it afterwards I probably should have just used clear embossing or actually the Versa mark but it it was an afterthought but it, it turned out okay I'm using um, a stitch sentiment strip die from My Favorite Things and I cut out my sentiment and then now we're going to work on our shaker. I'm adding some foam tape all around my panel here. And I need a super thin strip right there. Okay, now I'm grabbing my card base and I'm grabbing, uh, grabbing two of the lemon wedges and then two of the lemon slices. And I thought that would be enough, but of course I need bling. So I grab my sequins. I have these itty bitty ones I'm going to use. And they're clear and they're really pretty. They're from Pretty, pretty Pink Posh. And then I also have some of the larger sequins and the larger ones are iridescent so it added a little bit more color inside the shaker. Now I'm going to add my shaker panel to my card front. Kind of give it a good shake. And I just love the way that turned out. Well I have one more lemon slice left and I decided I was going to um, add a brad to that and almost as if it was a tag and so I used my my crocodile to make that work out there. And then I'm grabbing some Baker's Twine and this is a dark brown and white Baker's Twine and I'm going around my little my little lid of the mason jar and I'm going around I'm going to swing that Baker's Twine around it twice and then I'm going to tie a knot on the end. the knot I made on the, the left hand side of the lid. Lovely. Now I'm going to grab a piece of foam tape. I'm going to cut it down a little bit and then I'm going to add that to the back of the lid and then I'll secure it on top of the mason jar. Let get a little bit closer so you can see. Lovely. And then I'm going to thread my little lemon tag with the baker's twine and then tie a, tie a little bow with that. And since it was still shifting I decided to, to stick my little lemon tag down with some foam tape. I'm gonna tie the pretty little bow and then we're gonna trim off the ends of that baker's twine there. Lovely. And now I think the bottom of this front panel needs a little bit more color so I found a plaid um, strip of pattern paper from that that same pad that I was using and I fishtailed the ends and I just adhered that to the bottom there and then I fishtailed my sentiment and trimmed off 
the end there and we're going to pop up the sentiment with some foam tape kind of making sure I don't hit the bottom so so you can still open the card <laughs> lovely now we're going to stick down our our sentiment but I'm going to put it on the inside so when you flip it open you'll see makes make lemonade and then I saved a little lemon wedge for right next to the sentiment and I think that looks adorable and I could have left it at that but then I had some lemonade just staring at me it was it's lemonade kool-aid and so I thought I'm gonna make a little pocket so I, this is um, some score tape and it's super strong and I'm adding a couple pieces to the ends of this opening here and I'm just going to close it shut and make like a little pocket. Grab my lemonade. And I thought it turned out so sweet. I had to share it with you guys. It is a perfect feel better gift. I'm adding some Wink of Stella to the lemons. Just to get it. And then the little lemon wedge up there. Just to give it a little more shimmer. But that's it. My little one life hands you lemons card. I hope this inspires you to grab your mason jars and some Kool-Aid and make somebody's day. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.